Hey guys, I'm Dallas the Mad Hatter Smurf. I hope your day is treating you right. Today we're going to be talking about marketing skills and skills in marketing. Um, I'm going to be going over some of my skills. I'd love to hear some of yours in the comments, but let's dive right into it. So, I started off, I was born in the same year as the Commodore 64. I'm very, I don't look it, but I'm on my last year till 40. Um, but I'm a big kid at the same time. I, I have a childlike heart. But I didn't just like compute, uh, the games for what they could do for me. I wanted to understand why was it 8-bit? Uh, how were hitboxes set up? So I started learning like basic, um, basic programming. That's a basic, that's a language that was used for the Commodore 64, uh, way before pre-DOS even. Um, so you would have to give certain run commands or look up file files via text. Um, later after that, I learned some DOS, um, cause you had to on early windows computers, um, or any computer for that matter, uh, command prompt essentially. Um, from there I learned a bit about electronics, uh, logic gates and stuff like that, which I still have a passion for to this day, uh, and or not NAND, logic, logic gates, right, that can perform a series of functions, memory cells, yada 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 yada. Um, that's not software, that's more like your alarm clock wiring. So I, I understand a fundamental of that. Um, and how to repair and do management on that soldering. You know, resistant, how to read how much uh, resistance a particular resistor has, what a capacitor does. Honestly, we're not getting into details. From there, um, as I was going, coming out of high school, um, at my high school I had some trade schools that allowed me to do some things, so I got to play around with computerized banking and I learned about how to tell forged money, how uh, and fake money, forged money, uh, fake signatures, uh, the different methods of doing it and catching it, um, and counting drawers down, so you're just basic stuff like that. Um, after that, there was uh, computer-aided design, so I got into that and really excelled into that. I went through that class so fast that they actually let me out into the project room because I completed all my curriculum. And um, so I got to ro mess around with the robotic arm and l teach it how to draw my name and stuff like that. So I have a little touches on assembly line programming and robotic controller work, but not very much. E enough to do some interesting things. From there, um, I got out of the high school and, um, and I went right into construction. So my uncle actually taught me how to roof and uh, yeah, work on his house, and uh, from there I learned a lot about mason, uh, other jobs I've done in construction, because I'm not going to go into details on every single one of them. It, this video would be way too long, I'm trying to squeeze it all in really quickly. Um, so I, I did the roofing thing for a while, I did masonry, uh, cinder block, red brick, stick em stone, um, I, I did some... Uh, carpentry a little bit um, under someone else's certifications um, some cable management uh, network running cable cord um, I've done let's see here, drywall that that's an art form in itself drywall and you'll you'll definitely get some good arms uh, hanging them on the ceilings is pretty interesting as well especially if you're trying to do it yourself uh, it is not impossible. There's tricks to it. Um, so roofing, siding, windows, insulation, drywall, um, masonry, uh, insulation. So I've done uh, cellulose, um, foam insulation, and fiberglass batting as well. So uh, I understand quite a bit about how to keep your house warm or cool, depending. And uh, we can. Feel free to ask me about any of this stuff uh, on my Twitch right here. Uh, I'm pretty easy to get a hold of. Just scratch the internet a little bit looking for Mad Hatter Smurf and you'll find me. And that gets into probably your most evident about I'm pretty good at talking. Um, the reason is I did a lot of sales. 
marketing and door knocking stuff. Yeah, I sold Kirby vacuums for a minute and I was pretty successful at it too. Um, but yeah, knocking up on a cord, uh, door and not being able to take their aggressions or something like that as to heart and just be like, hey, you know, I understand that you're busy right now and you know, you're probably not interested in something that's gonna save you money that you're gonna do anyway. But you know, you could take this estimate that's completely no cost and actually get other competing quotes that are also free and then get the lowest price on something that you're possibly gonna need. Um, people are a lot easier and more uh, receptive when they're not being sold. Uh, when you, they feel like you're taking their best interests in mind, they will spend a little bit more time with you. Sales is one of those things you gotta be able to take it, let it roll down your back. Uh, you're gonna get a lot of angry no's and stuff like disrupting people, a lot of things that are gonna rip out your heart and just feel so bad because you're touching people's lives. And, and that's really got me to where I am now, is like I enjoy touching people's life and giving you anything I can long as it's not going to slip my own throat. Um, but at the same time, I did some security. Uh, so I ran a couple of booths and did that thing for a little while. Uh, and if you want a tip on that, uh, watch people's eyes. If they're watching you, you know, they're, they're probably going to see when you're looking away so they can swipe something. If, if they're checking out the product and watching the product, they're most likely planning on buying something. And what do you do when someone's planning on stealing? Guess what? You give them the five star treatment. It's the greatest way to scare off a thief is just be like, hey, is there anything I can help you with? Oh yeah, that's a great book. It's really engaging. And just watch their hands, watch where their eyes are going, watch their expressions. Um, and, and if someone is stealing, don't try to stop them. Your, your life isn't worth that job. It really isn't. Unless you're being paid for security and then that's your job, which is another side of it as well. Uh, understand policies and procedures, paperwork, and how to do different things uh, properly and how to handle them and handle them as a group and a unit. Uh, and that's a lot of working on any job is working as a team and as a unit. Um, everybody, you know, working as a team makes a great functioning machine. And that's the other thing I did. I did a lot of machine operating, assembly line, uh, machine operating, material handling, uh, messing around with any kind of power tool I could get my hands on. I was fascinated with the electronics and troubleshooting it. And that's also a really good skill in itself. Being able, hey, this is the pr a problem. Which ways can we find solutions for that? And it may not be conventional. It may not be something you would have normally think of, thought of, had to think out of the box, or it could have been something you just found on a YouTube video or a different channel or saw someone else do it and it worked really well for them. So you figured it would give it a try. Um, but yeah, um, finally, uh, if you guys didn't know, I'm also a minister. Um, I perform weddings and ceremonies for people and talk to people. I have an open door policy. If anybody needs a safe place to talk, uh, I like to provide that. I don't give out names. And, and to this person that told me that I didn't have any marketing skills, um, dude, be careful what you say. Um, uh, people take what you say to heart and you can hurt people without even realizing it. Um, and, and it was probably a Freudian slip or um, something that he really did mean but didn't mean it quite like that um i don't know I, I can't get in his head um finally i'm gonna i really don't like the automated stuff but i'll tell you one last thing i say three things a lot i hope your journey um no i say three three things a lot i hope the road rises up to your feet Basically, it doesn't matter, you know, where you are in life that sometimes you just need a little bit of foundation, you know, that path before you. I hope all your endeavors are blessed. Yes, it's not about the destination, but sometimes if life can feel like we're ice skating uphill and it, it might 
be something with our perspective as well. Maybe we're going about it wrong, standing against the grain, as it were. And finally, I hope all your journeys are blessed. And that one's kind of obvious, but till we meet again, because I believe we are all one, just floating on a rock in space, one community, one spirit. Uh, and we all meet again on the other side. I'm a firm believer of it. Yeah. Uh, take care, guys. Till we meet again. I hope all your journeys are